I've seen better days, but I've also seen worse. I don't have everything that I want, but I do have all I need. I woke up with some aches and pains, but I woke up. My life may not be perfect, but I am blessed. Have you heard God's blessing in your inmost being? Are the words, you are my beloved child, in whom I delight an endless source of joy and strength? Have you sensed, through the Holy Spirit, God speaking to you? That blessing the blessing through the Spirit that is ours through Christ is what Jacob received. And it is the only remedy against idolatry. Only that blessing makes idols unnecessary. As with Jacob, we usually discover this only after a life of looking for blessings. In all the wrong places. It often takes the experience of crippling weakness for us to finally discover it. That is why so many of the most God-blessed people limp as they dance for joy. We begin life with the natural, next we come into the spiritual, but then, when we have truly received the kingdom of God and His righteousness. The natural is added to the spiritual, and we are able to receive the gifts of His providence and the blessings of life without becoming centered in them or allowing them to separate us from Him. Everyone you meet is a part of your journey, but not all of them are meant to stay in your life. Some people are just passing through to bring you gifts, either their blessings or lessons. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save, He will rejoice over you with gladness, He will quiet you by His love, He will exult over you with loud singing. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the Creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary. And His understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. What was once foolishness, a crucified God, must become our wisdom and our power and our only boast in this world. He who lays up treasures on earth spends his life backing away from his treasures. To him, death is loss. He who lays up treasures in heaven looks forward to eternity, he's moving daily toward his treasures. To him, death is gain. We may speak about a place where there are no tears, no death, no fear, no night, but those are just the benefits of heaven. The beauty of heaven is seeing God. Yet as I read the birth stories about Jesus I cannot help but conclude that though the world may be tilted toward the rich and powerful, God is tilted toward the other.